So today I'm gonna to teach you guys how to ollie off of stairs. The big thing about ollieing off of stairs, there's just a few different things that you need to have really down. The first big thing is going fast. Before you're ready to ollie off stairs, you have to be very comfortable not only just riding, but also ollieing with a lot of speed. So with that said, the way to build up on a gradient ollieing downstairs is to do exactly what a gradient is. Start at one stair, and then go to two stairs, and then three, and then come up to four stairs. So I say this a lot, I say do it on a gradient, and I just wanna make sure you guys fully understand what that means. So basically what a gradient is, is a gradual slight increase. And when I talk about this in terms of skateboarding, I mean increasing the skill level slowly. That's why I don't like it when people learn to ollie and then they go straight to the kickflip. Well, it's the same with stairs. For stairs, it would be one stair, then two stairs, then three stairs, then four stairs. That's a slight gradient. After you've mastered a four stair, you can pretty much go from there to five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 20, 50, 80, 100, as many as you want. But yeah, just make sure that you build it up on a gradient. Don't be like, well, I've ollied off a two stair, now I'm gonna ollie off the 25 stair. Just don't do that because then you're probably going to break both of your legs and nobody wants to break both of their legs. The thing that you have to know about ollieing off of stairs is a lot of speed, make sure you build it up on a gradient, and then make sure your timing on your ollie is really good. You have to ollie far enough in front of the ledge so that your front truck does not pop below. That's super key. Cool, so as you're rolling up to the obstacle, make sure your eyes are looking right at the top of the ledge. So if this is the top stair, you wanna keep your eyes right on that edge. And the whole reason for that is because you need your timing perfect because you wanna have your board fully popped in the air before you cross that line where the stair ends. So have your feet in the regular ollie position and do all of the steps of the ollie. The same pop, the same drag of your front foot up, and then the same level out the board in the air, which means you're gonna push your front foot forward and bring your back foot up as you pop so the board levels out in the air. That's very, very, very important. The other additional step there is to alling downstairs is that there is a greater impact than there is just alling on flat. So you have to make sure that as you extend your legs, once you land, you bend your legs enough to absorb that impact. So that's extremely important. So again, have a lot of speed, make sure you keep your eyes on the edge, pop up, and then make sure you're gonna extend your legs down. And then the biggest, probably the biggest factor where people fall down in terms of skating stairs is just commitment. People say it constantly, they're like, you just gotta go for it. Just jump and just commit and throw yourself out there and just make, make it go. Now the thing that makes commitment a lot easier is again to start with one stair then two then three and then four as soon as you hit some of the larger stair sets it's still going to be a little scary but honestly the more you've skated stairs the easier it gets and the easier it is to just commit and just land it every try it's oftentimes a lot easier to learn how to take a drop without stairs the reason for this is is that you don't have to clear the stairs with a drop you can just roll right off and if you have a drop where there's kind of a gradient going up the side, you can practice where it's smaller and then go bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. And then when you hit the stair set, it's literally the exact same thing, only you're gonna have to increase your speed, increase your ollie, and increase your commitment. So those are the major factors with skating stairs. Once you get the ollies downstairs, then you can start throwing other tricks downstairs and then just go from there. Thanks a lot for watching. I hope you guys mastered this trick. Definitely subscribe and make sure and click that like button below. Definitely check out Skateboarding Made Simple. I fully cover ollieing downstairs in volume number four. And if you guys are learning the basics, check out volume number one. But any of those videos, one through four, are all amazing. So click this link right here and get your video today. Thanks a lot for your guys' help and support. Click the link right here to get your videos and I'll see you next time.